Hey everybody, finally got something working here. Um, I was playing around with two different Tate circuits and then I, um, I ripped them apart and I, uh, I put together a, uh, just a voltage multiplier. This is a standard deal with, uh, with three stages more or less. So I get about um, 350 volts or so DC output from it. And uh, that's not hooked up. Well, it's in parallel, but I'm not using it. So I'm just basically running a spark app here uh, with a little capacitor across of it, uh, 10 microfarads in series, and two induction coils coming off uh, directly parallel. So the spark app is actually shorting the two coils, and that capacitor there is in parallel. Um, with the series resistance here. It doesn't work without this series resistance. Um, the coils themselves are wired opposite of each other. So positive negative over here is flip-flopped over here to drive one up really high and one assumedly low really high. And um, as we see here, this one is arcing to, arcing to the primary here, but I don't get, I'm not getting a whole lot of induction onto my secondary in this setup um, what I do get is with the, the the high output going through this series high voltage condenser bank uh, straight into the coil and then with the primary hooked to the secondary I can get oscillations out of the top load here uh, every time the spark gap fires so I don't necessarily need a secondary spark gap to get it to work The spark app is a little unstable, of course. But interestingly enough, when it's almost touching, in fact it is touching, I get this effect where it still arc, wants to arc at a much faster rate. So what's really interesting about these two coils is, is that because they're wired backwards and they're wired in hairpin configuration and we're wired in coil shorting configuration, the voltage output of them is ridiculous. I'll show you in a second here. Here we have, they're basically shorted, uh, their, their secondaries are basically arcing over through the capacitor bank and through the primary inductor. So what I could do, I could take this all the way out and show you. That's about a three inch gap there. I'm gonna close that back up and it's easier to show you here. This is the, the low side. About three inches, three or four inches. Any more than that, it wants to break down and jump to the side terminals. So it's really a, a case of the design flaw with these uh, inductors. I've got some high voltage spark plug wires that I put in there and I even poured oil down inside of the uh, the secondary terminal there and it still wants to come right out of there and arc to the side. It helps, but it's still not great. If I can get almost a four or five inch arc off the top of this, this is essentially one to the other here. As you can see, as long as it has a path to travel, it can go really far. that back in there and carefully. What I'll show you up here is, is that when the when the spark uh wait, hold on. When the spark app doesn't fire here, I still get breakdown going on up here because the spark app's firing. Now this is what the primary hook to the secondary. So you can see your arc up here, and that's this is the first spark app actually firing real tiny. Uh, so it's more of a constant, it's a much higher duty cycle and then a break that's causing this. Um, And obviously when 
when the ground wire here is up here, it doesn't want to arc over over here because it's got a shorter path to ground even through all that and the bulb. As you can see with my this looks like. It's worked out these work. Oh what I wouldn't love to have a vacuum. Coils are what normally like two or three thousand volts, I think. I don't know, maybe ten. I'm not. I don't think they're made to produce that much at twelve volts. But we're putting three hundred fifty volts DC, but extremely low amperage because of the choking that's going on in the multiplier circuit. But the coil shorting aspect, which is ironically right along the lines of how these coils are designed to operate, they're made for impulse currents. So it works really well, and um, the series capacitance here is the only thing that allows it to operate. It won't, even though that spark will arc and it'll short the coil when a straight DC field is applied to it, it doesn't have the same effect. We don't get the surge of voltage in the secondary without a series capacitance here. And these, these series capacitors here make it make that the secondary side operate even better. So. Imagine what these things can do driven at a much higher frequency, which is what I'm feverishly progressing towards. High voltage driver. Ironically, this is a Tate circuit turned sideways with the diodes reversed. <laughs> it definitely seems to be a little more amperage output from the Tate circuit than there is the standard multiplier. So what's different about the two, I'm not real sure of yet. See the orange in the arc? When it works? Okay. Very, very 